10 a.m. this morning, I found this hat. An ordinary hat, nothing special about it. A flat cap, I believe. This is the inside of the hat. It was found on the street sign on the top of Pages Hill Road, just hanging there. Now my plan is to get this hat to its rightful owner by setting up some sort of local campaign. Essentially, someone owns this hat and I need to get it to them. Except there is a costume party this Saturday and this would go very well with my outfit. To be honest, it probably would have been a better idea if I just left the hat hanging on the sign. But on the other hand, this could be the most inspirational video I've ever made. So what's more important? That's the question we're gonna be answering by the end of this. So what I've decided I'm gonna do yeah. is take photos of the hat, put them on posters, and then stick those posters around the local area. And I'll see if I get any response. All right, this is a bit of a tough bit. Do I use my own personal email or do I make a new one? Make a new one? All right, then let's put that email onto the poster. Hat was found at the top of Pages Hill. Currently, it resides in my safekeeping. If you do own this hat, then please come forward. There is no reward other than the hat. Okay, so the poster is complete. I will print a few of those off on Sunday, hopefully. I should probably actually research the value of the hat. There might be no incentive for anyone to actually contact me if this hat is dirt cheap. 79 pounds. 71 pounds, 70 quid. 70 quid, 89 pounds. I could just keep it for my, it doesn't work. Is it a good style? I'm gonna check Twitter, the local Muswell Isle Twitter. Got some cupcakes, uh, Roadworks. Works hard with this guy. Let's just extend the search. Wiggins. No results for hashtag Mo Muswell Hill Wiggins. Muswell Hill News. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing here about it. I'm scrolling through. There's nothing. People talking about trash, lost cats, but this hat is a mystery. Let's see if there are any developments later on in life. Sunday, it's Monday. The plan didn't go to plan, but I got these plastic sheets to protect the posters in. Let's get them printed. I think I'll print about six copies and then we'll see how we are from there. So here are the completed posters. Just need to release these bad boys into the wild. Um, hopefully we'll get that done today, but who knows? A lot of homework to be done, if you know what I mean. Uh, Wednesday, the 10th of October, George is on the camera. Hey, don't tell them. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Ezra Investigate. Oh, wow. Quick. Oh, shit. Mission one. Mission one. <laughs> This is not stuck onto it. Yeah, but you know, it's now wrapped around. The tree isn't sticky. I maybe should have done this with pins. Yeah, let's go back and get some birds. I haven't got any pins. Mission two. Two. Accomplished. Let's keep going. This is the third poster we've put up. We're getting closer to the site of the crime, which is just over there. And this one, it sort of curves around, but I think it's still going to grab the attention of nearby people. Of the council, of the council. and the police. Over there, behind this black car over here. You see Yeah, this? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, over there was where I found the hat. Someone lost the hat, and then someone found the hat and put it on the Page Hill sign, and I've just complicated the whole situation. Crime. Knock, 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 it's the postman. Mission. Oh, Mission five. 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 
I'm literally covered in webs. Okay. Mission five. Mission six. So hopefully someone finds this poster. They contact me, I contact them. They want to film. We get a conclusion to this. And it's all dilly dally. Dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Yeah? There's a bunch of children coming our way. Mmm, liquid gold as they say. Okay, so it's been a few days since the posters were put up. Let's check the email. I've got high hopes. Oh. We've got an email. We've got a Google email. Help us protect you security advice from Google. People aren't receiving the message. What more do you need, man? I've got your hat, I put posters up. I put my email address there. It's near to where you lost the damn hat. Okay, let's check the Twitter. Look at this shit. Planet Organic Extension. The world the world goes crazy. Someone loses a hat. No no peep. No peep from anyone. I'm gonna do something I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do something drastic if if no one emails me in the next few days. I'm gonna give it some time, and I'm gonna... Whew. It's been two months since I last filmed something. The inbox to my email is still empty. No one has claimed the hat. I got one email from a documentary maker. I don't know if I mentioned that before. It's been so long. I replied to the documentary maker, basically saying, I don't think my story is as fascinating as you think it is. The documentary maker claimed that she had found out about my story on Twitter. I searched Twitter and I found nothing. I don't think I'm ever gonna find the owner of this hat. I said I'd go crazy and do something drastic to get the owner of this hat to come out, but I don't really know how to do that. I made this profile on Twitter, this undercover profile. Um, I, put, I put it together out of elements of my own real life. I thought maybe I could stir up some interest on Twitter. I guess I'll try and do that now and then. Seeing these posters around for the last few months, they've slowly been disappearing, but some still remain, which leads me to believe that perhaps the hat was never claimed. Maybe you could use your influence to get this hat home. Image attached. And send. Okay, hopefully we get a reply. Or some sort of... Some sort of something or other. I just want to return this flat cap to its owner. Like, why is that, why is that so bad? Come on. If there is, if there is a god... Praise to the Most High, God. Praise to the Most High, God is the greatest. The sun is shining on me. I love my mom, I love my wife, I love my kids. Praise to the Most High, the sun is shining on me. Oh, give me, give me, give me the strength. G give me the strength to find this flat cap. Oh no, you motherfucking God, bitch, motherfucker. Yeah, the sun is shining on me, the Most High, God is the God is the greatest. The sun is shining on me. Oh, praise the Most High. There have been some developments. I received a, a retweet from Muswell Hill Twitter situation, but they deleted it. I also received an email from a man named Nick. If no one collects the hat, can I have it? It's not mine and I'm not going to pretend that it is, but damn, that hat is nice. Kind of a Peaky Blinders type vibe going on there. Also, what else are you investigating? From Nick. So I contemplated sending Nick the hat. But I'm not going to do that, Nick. Instead, I'm going to send a reply. Hi, Nick. I'm glad the hat grabbed your attention. Much like how it did for me when I found it. I have been contemplating for the last month on whether or not to give you this hat. 
you seem enthusiastic and deserving of it. However, I am now committed to donating the hat to a frail young boy who deserves it more than anyone in this world. I'm sorry that I am doing this to you. I know it must have been stirring around in your head for the last month and it must have been a great pain. With regard to what else I'm investigating, I handle anything from lost cats to unwanted graffiti and occasionally the odd murder. I do hope you find something to protect your head in the future. Kind regards, Ezra investigates. And ascend. It's over. The hat sold for £11.50 with the addition of postage and packaging a few days ago. The money has been received and it is now time to send the hat away. This hat has taken me on an adventure. An adventure which has brought on the best moments of my entire life. I've met so many good people. I've been in communication with people from around the local area. This hat has given me opportunities to go out into the world and make a difference. And although I may not have found the owner of the hat, what I did find was a friend. So, yeah. Thank you 